Okay, like I said before, I'll say it once, I'll say it again. Resident Evil 5 really has changed. Or should I say the Resident Evil itself. Like I said, it's not the same as it used to be. Um, I mean, like I said, the game was still an excellent game. Love the game. But like I said, the more I played it, the more I was like, man, it really did change. Because now you have these... Um, in, this, in, this, in the game, they're called um, Ouroboros, I guess. The, the creatures, I guess. They're not called the Lost Pragas. I think they're called Ouroboros now. Um, but they're freaking carrying, like... Like, uh, what were some of the weapons they were carrying? A shovel I saw them carry. They can, they, they can run at you now. Like, at a good, fast pace. When you go more deeper into the game, in chapter, uh, I believe it's 5 slash 1, um, they carry AK-47, so you have to actually duck and cover. There is a new duck, or go up against the wall, where if you press the X button, you go up against the wall, hold the trigger button, start shooting at them. So, like I said, this is a really whole new direction of Resident Evil. Totally whole new direction, in my opinion. Um, but you know what? Even with the whole new direction they're going, this is still an awesome game. I mean, recommend. I definitely recommend this game. Um, the game is a bit. Sh the game is short, but you know what? I guess it's it's a good. Um, it's a good amount of time for the game because. Resident Evil 2 was a very short game, depending where you know if you knew where to go and all. Resident Evil, whether it was the director's cut, regular, or remake of it, short game if you know what you're doing. Pretty much all Resident Evil games are short if you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, if you don't know what you're doing, it's going to be long. If you know what you're doing, uh, it's going to be short. Pretty much this game is pretty much straight through. The puzzles are easy. Um, there's no, like, backtrack. I mean, now it's pretty much chapter-based, where in Resident Evil 2, it's like, you can track, you can backtrack all the way to the beginning, or if there was a door that had to get a key, you may have to backtrack all the way back there to get that key. In this, pretty much, if you needed to get the key, the key's gonna be inside the enemy. It's not gonna be in a hidden place. Well, there are some, whoops. There are some places where you may have to go up, shoot something just to get, uh, get the key. But overall, mainly the keys are mainly in the monster, so you don't have to bother looking all the time. But um, this is pretty much all I gotta say for Resident Evil 5. Um, I feel that this is an awesome game. 10 out of 10 stars, and seeing that there may not be no good games coming out this year, I mean, I mean this, is, this is the best game so far. Um, I don't know what any other games that might top this, but you know what? I'm pretty sure that there's going to be games that are going to be excellent or awesome, but I don't think nothing's not going to top this. I'm pretty sure that this would be the 2009 game of the year, hands down. And if something does beat this game, I will be very surprised and shocked. Okay, this was my review of Resident Evil 5 one more time. Awesome game. 10 out of 10 stars. Recommend or rent the game. I prefer buy the game, but if you're not a big Resident Evil fan, then you can rent the game. Okay, this was my review of Resident Evil 5. Hope you all enjoy. Um, please leave good comments. Give me your thoughts on how, about the game, if you liked it or not. I'd like to hear some of your comments as well. And until um, then, talk to you later, and take care, and good night.